birthday, August 10th, 1911, by Alistair Crowley. Full moon tonight, and six and twenty years since my full moon first broke from angels' fears. A year of infinite love unwearying no circling seasons, but perennial spring. A year of triumph trampling through defeat, the first made holy and the last made sweet by this same love. A year of wealth and woe, joy, poverty, health, sickness, all one glow in the pure light that filled our firmament of supreme silence and unbarred state, wherein one sacrament was ours, one Lord, one resurrection, one recurrent cause, one incarnation, one descending dove, all these being one, and that one being love. You sent your spirit into humans. My soul yearned in a thousand melodies to its scroll its happiness. I left no flower and plot that might have graced your garland. I end up to tragedy, comedy, farce, fable, song. Each longing a little, each a little long, but each aspiring only to express your excellence and my unworthiness. Nay, but my worthiness, since I was sense and spirit to of that same excellence. So thus we solved the earth's revolving riddle, I could write verse, and you could play the fiddle, while, as a love, the sun went through the signs, and not a star but told him how love twines a wreath for every decanate, degree, minute and second, linked eternally in chains of flowers that never fading are, each one as sentinel as a star. Let me go back to your last birthday. Then I was already your one man of men appointed to complete you, and fulfill from everlasting the eternal will. We lay within the flood of crimson light in my own balcony that august night, and conjuring the right and the averse created yet another universe. We worked together, danced and right and spell, arousing heaven and constraining hell. We lived together, every hour of rest was honeyed from your tiger lily breast. We, oh what lingering doubt or fear betrayed my life to fate, we parted. Was I afraid? I was afraid, afraid to live my love, afraid you played the serpent, I the dark, afraid of what I know not. I am glad of all the shame and wretchedness I had, since those six weeks have taught me not to doubt you, and also that I cannot live without you. Then I came back to you, black treasons rear their heads, blind heads, death agonies of fear, cruelty, cowardice, falsehood, broken pledges, the temple soiled with senseless sacrileges, sickness and poverty, a thousand evils, concerted malice of a million devils, you never swerved, your high pooped galleon went marvelously, majestically on full sails, while every other brave bark drove on the rocks all founded in the dark. Then Easter, and the days of all delight. God's sunlit noontide and his moon midnight, while above all, true center of our world, true source of light, our great love passion pearl gave all its life and splendor to the sea above whose tides stood our stability. Then sudden and fierce, no monetary moan, smug the mad mischief of the great cyclone. How far below us all is fury world. How vain is sulfur tries to garnish gold. We lived together, all its malice meant nothing but freedom of the continent. It was the forest and the river that knew the fact that one and one do not make two. We worked, we walked, we slept, we got ease, we cried, we called. All the rocks and trees for twenty miles could tell how lovers were. And we could count a kiss for every blade. Worry, starvation, illness and distress. Each moment was a mine of happiness. Then we grew tired of being country mice. Came up to Paris, lived our sacrifice there. Giving holy berries to the moon, July's thanks, giving for the joys of June. And you had gone away, and how shall I make all this sing the raptures of July? And you had gone away, what evil star makes you so competent and popular? How have I raised this harpy hag of hell's malice, that you are wanted somewhere else? I wish you were like me, a man forbid, banned, outcast, nice society well rid of the pair of us, then who would interfere with us? My darling, you would now be here. But no. We must fight on, win through, succeed, 
found the grudge craze that never comes to me. Lush dogs to kennel, trample snakes, put bit in the new mouths that have such need of it. Until the world has so much to forgive it becomes a little possible to live in. God alone knows if battle or surrender with a true courage, either has its splendor. But since we chose the first, God aid the right, and damn me if I fail you in the fight. God join again the ways that lie apart, and bless the love of loyal heart to heart. God keep us every hour in every thought, and bring the vessel of our love to port. These are my birthday wishes. Dawn's at hand, and you're an exile in a lonely land. But what were magic if it could not give my thought enough vitality to live? Do not then dream this night has been a loss. All night I have hung, a god, upon the cross. All night I have offered incense at the shrine. All night you have been unutterably mine. My night in the memory of the first wild hour when my rough grass tore the unwilling flower from your closed garden. Mine in every mood, in every tense, in every attitude, in every possibility, still mine while the sun's pomp and vacant, sign to sign, stately proceeded, mine not only so in the glamour of memory and all strong glow of ardor, but by image of my brow stronger than sense, you are even here and now mine, utterly mine, my sister and my wife, mother of my children, mistress of my life. A wild swan winging through the morning mist. The thousand thousand kisses that we kissed. The infinite device our love devised if by some chance its truth might be surprised. Are these all past? Are these to come? Believe me, there is no parting, they can never leave me. I have built you up into my heart and brain so fast that we can never part again. Why should I sing you these fantastic songs when all the time I have you in my arms? Why? Tis the murmur of our love that swells earth, stiff ions and oceans are ours. But this is dawn, my soul shall make its nest, where your sighs swing from rapture into rest love's horrible, your tiger lily breast. I'm <laughs> sorry.